Hello everyone on my channel. I uh, just wanted to make a follow-up video on the installation of my Create antenna. This is a log periodic antenna that covers 105 megahertz up to 1.2 gigahertz. So in essence, it will cover five band ham radio bands, uh, which would be two meter, 220, 440, 900 and 1.2 all in one antenna and which antenna is it well it's this little guy at the top so i had this before mounted on my tripod in the yard just to do some preliminary testing and although i could have mounted it with the vertical mast between the elements i did try that and the uh, swr was pretty high so um, i mounted it this way on the stand and everything looked good when i say pretty high it was just on a few bands um, and you know it always makes sense anytime you have another element in between well the mast is pretend, <laughs> pretend element between the uh, actual elements uh, it can create some uh, interaction so anyway so what I uh, did is decide to mount it horizontal so I had to get a, a bracket uh, from a ham friend of mine same guy who came over was my ground guy that was uh, Gary W9GD and so he gave me the bracket. It was missing some U-bolts, which I had. So anyways, made it all work and uh, got it up there yesterday, or actually a couple days ago. Um, really nice day to do it. It was a little tricky though, uh, getting it up. I had to get it around all my, my wires from my dive holes. And, uh, and then of course I had to pull the antenna out from uh, the tower because the elements on the log periodic kept getting caught inside the beam as I was pulling up. So he, he pulled on a rope pulling out as I pulled up. And when he was, once I got it up and finagled it around the elements of my uh, Mosley TA-53, um, got it in place. It's always weird when you're doing work up there. Um, it's, it's hard to imagine how you lose all your leverage that you would normally have on the ground. So I had the antenna mounted on that five foot mast, which is steel. And uh, uh, it, was, it was easy to ha handle and you know, hold it on the end on the ground, but once you get up in the air, like I said, you kind of lose your leverage. So people are asking for what's the performance of this thing like? Well, I've only had it a couple days, but I've been trying to DX a few repeaters and talk to all my buddies on Simplex. And you know what? It seems pretty commensurate with what I had before, which was an uh, Cushcraft AS120 uh, gain wise. Um, <clears throat> but the reason I really wanted to go with this is the capability that's broadband has more bands in it, but also uh, it's fed with uh, coax at the end, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's way at the end. I showed that in my other video, and it's got a nice end connector, which I really believe in, uh, very rugged connectors. The other antenna, it had this, I call it cheesy, but it was, it was a harness that uh, had um, a T connector with two, um, I want to call them like RG58 style cables that would feed the two elements uh, are two components of that antenna that being UHF and VHF and then it would go down to one coax and I just was never a fan of that I just always thought that it was gonna break and it just it didn't impress me it also had a, a lower power rating than this antenna which is rated at 500 watts the other one was I think a hundred 120 maybe I don't know I have to look at it and so I was always a little cautious on that and I don't even run a lot of power but it was just one more down downside to the uh, the other antenna and, and the build quality in this thing is spectacular so anyways it looks a little funny i was worried there would be um a, a stress on my rotor because it's offset um, but it's really pretty light and i've got an alpha spid for an antenna rotor and that thing i tell you you could turn a house with it that's the best darn oh, there's some ducks to go by never know what's going to happen in the video um uh, a rotor that really works well and i'm, I'm super happy with that if, if you're wanting to know anything about alpha spid uh rotors just let me know and other than that, yeah, so I think it's really good. I'm happy with it. Um, and like I say, it ranges from like about 300 on the low end. And that was the antenna farm, by the way. I think they're out of Georgia. They had the best price. Um, all the way up to like 379 at um, uh, HRO. So, okay, so there you go. There's my impression of the antenna initially. Um, I'm sure it'll serve me for many years and give me good uh, Good uh, ham radio experiences. 7-3, uh, Dave K918.